Are you voting for Trump or Harris? I'm voting Harris. I'm not voting. Trump, baby! Trump is evil. Trump 2024! I'm gonna go for the Don. Big D, yeah. I don't, I don't want to put down on the internet. I'm middle class, and I feel like I'm broke. What's your take on January 6th? Uh, I mean, did he incite it? Not that I agree with it, but I don't disagree with it. Do you actually think that people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio? Like President I do Trump. not, and I have a lot of people that live in Ohio. They are. It's on video. Yes, there's video of it. <laughs> Oh. No, but I know some people do. This is the most important election of our lifetimes, but I think this one really is the most important. That's why I'm running. Could you say anything nice about uh, Vice President Harris? I can't, no. Do you have anything you could say about Trump that you like? The presidential election is less than 30 days away, and I went to one of the most important swing states in the entire country. Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania, Pennsylvania. And what we see is a tightening race in the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania. And we're asking them, are you voting for Trump or Harris? Oh my God. Oh. You know, Donald Trump is a singular threat to democracy. A racist, abusive coward who could permanently damage the fabric of our society. There are a lot of my peers putting out videos trying to brainwash the American people to do the most dangerous vote ever. Kamala Harris and Tim Walz. Are you voting for Trump or Harris? Uh, I'm voting for Trump. I'm voting Harris. Harris. Could you give me a reason why? No wars going on. Trump is evil. And uh, threat to democracy. Do you believe that people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio like President Trump says? In Springfield, they're eating the dogs, the people that came in. They're eating the cats. Of course not. <laughs> I mean, there was, what, the one story that uh, one did happen, but it wasn't somebody who had an immigrant background. Uh, Isn't one too many, though? <laughs> okay, but how the hell is a president going to stop that? It, it's a 50-50. I mean, you have a lot of people, you know, are crossing the border. It's it's hard to tell, you know, what they're what they're actually doing, what their intentions are. And could you say anything good about President Trump? No. Okay. Not a thing. Can you say anything good about candidate Harris? I, I honestly can't. I, I, <laughs> it's nice to meet you. Yeah, you as well. Thanks for your you. input, Mike. Mike, good to meet you. And later in this video, I'll be interviewing people at a tailgate at Penn State, where I also got to interview a potential U.S. senator. What's your name, age, and occupation? Swag. Uh, I'm an artist. I make music, and I'm 32. Who are you voting for, Trump or Harris? Um, I'm going to be honest. I'm not voting. Voting for Trump. Uh, President Trump. Why? We're going to be finished with college soon. It's going to be like, I'm going to have to be paying off my college tuition. I think the best thing for this country is for Trump to be in office. I just feel like we need a, a younger president in the office. Trump's too old. And then Kamala Harris, I mean, I don't know too much on her, but... I don't think that she's it either, for real. What do you think about January 6th? January 6th, 2021 was the day thousands of Americans stormed the Capitol <laughs> in support of former President Trump. I know that everyone here will soon be marching over to the Capitol building to peacefully and patriotically make your voices heard. Which occurred as Congress was in the process of certifying the Electoral College, which would confirm a now President Joe Biden victory. You have to go home now. We have to have peace. The event will be a significant moment in the U.S. political history forever. I mean, did he incite it? I don't know. It's like, it's a tough thing. It's like, people can take words any way. Like, it goes any way. It's like, I don't think he necessarily incited anything, but... Do you actually think that people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio, like President Trump? <laughs> I do Trump? not, and I have a lot of people that live in Ohio. I, I shouldn't say... Well, there is a person, I think, that happened, but I don't believe that part of it, and I still am going to vote for President Trump. I think... I have seen, in my own area, I've seen a lot of, like... I've seen a lot of people moving into the hotels near my area. It's, it's a real thing that is happening. I don't know about eating cats and dogs. That's, like, kind of out there, but maybe. Where are you from? I'm from just outside of King of Prussia area in Pennsylvania. <laughs> um, I don't think in Ohio, I don't know about Ohio, but I know people eat cats and dogs. <laughs> okay, all right. Could you say anything nice about uh, Vice President Harris? I can, actually. I do think she's a very smart woman. I do respect her, and I don't think we need to play, like, me against you type thing. Just because I want somebody else to win doesn't mean you have to say something super negative about the other person. I just don't want her in office. <laughs> John, 22, I'm a student. Are you voting for Trump or Harris? Oh, shit, my bad. I didn't know it was that. I didn't know it was that. 
I don't, I don't want to put that on the internet. Oh, wait, no, you, you don't have to. Can I ask you a different like, question? Sure, sure, sure. Do you believe that people are actually eating cats and dogs in Ohio, like Trump says? <laughs> okay, my bad, my bad. I'm no? <laughs> no, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm decided. Well, you could, it's just your opinion. Like, I'm not, it's just your I've regular opinion. I've never ate a cat or a dog, personally. Could you say anything good about Trump or anything good about uh, Harris? I think they're both smart people. I think, I mean, you, you got to be... You gotta be successful at something to get in that position to run for president. Either way, either way. So I agree with that. Yeah, respect. no doubt. Yeah, well, nice to meet you, bro. Yeah, yeah, sorry to put you in an uncomfortable <laughs> no, spot. Just... Now we'll head to the tailgate at Penn State's whiteout game, where we get answers that I wouldn't have guessed, and we interview a potential U.S. senator. Bro. Who wants to get interviewed? What's what about? We can do all of you. We can do all of you. Yeah, interview us all. All right, who are you voting for, Harris or Trump? I'm a Trumper. Trump. Trump, baby. Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Trump 2024. Do you actually think people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio like former President Trump says? They are. It's on video. I mean, it's possible anywhere. I mean, hey, if you're hungry enough, you know, you're crazy enough, go for it. I <laughs> the other question is, what do you think about the security of our southern border? The United States southern border has had thousands of illegal immigrants pass through daily, racking up into the millions during at least the last three and a half years. And with things like sanctuary cities and bail reform, some Americans feel as if illegal aliens don't play by the same rules as American citizens. Well, Kamala's the border czar, and I don't think she even knows what's going on at the border. So we talked about this earlier. I'm for immigration, but I'm for illegal immigration so if you want to come here i respect that because our ancestors did but do it the right way please we definitely need to upgrade it a little bit um and they need someone that can lock it down and get it the way it should be if you want to come here legally go for it but you know we're all u.s citizens and we all have all the proper documentation and identification but if you're going to come here illegally and commit crimes and you know just get shipped back and i don't know it Something definitely needs to change here. Can you say anything nice about the current presidency, Biden and Harris? Anything positive? Yes. Hold on. This is all I got. That's all, that's, that says what enough. <laughs> I, I can't think of anything off the top of my head, but we're still here. I, 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 that's all I got. We're still here. Why are you voting for former President Trump? I just feel like the economy was so much better back then. Um, I mean, just look at the gas prices and everything. And here in the U.S., we have all of the oil. Why not use it? Why keep it in reserves when we have so much? I believe he will make the borders better. I'm for legal immigration. I'm for a middle class, and I feel like I'm broke. I shouldn't be. It's been a tough few years. Uh, I just feel he'll be better for the average American. Do you think that the media is biased for or against Trump? Against. At the debate, they fact-checked him eight times and Kamala won. None. None. Who do you think lies more uh, on the public stage, Trump or Harris? I want to say Harris lies more. I will give it. Trump does say some stupid stuff. Obama. Um, <laughs> he definitely gets himself in trouble with some of his comments. But I, I think he's a pretty truthful man when it comes to that. Did you say anything nice about uh, Vice President Harris? I can't, no. no. <laughs> all right. Thanks, Ed. I appreciate <laughs> it. Thank you, guys. Thank all you guys. That's a, that's a big help. Doing, yeah, I mean, you guys hey. are doing the Lord's work. Uh, my name is Michael Kutchener. I'm 64 years old, even though I know I don't look it. Um, and I'm a Trump Force 47 captain. And we're out encouraging people to vote early, um, to do in-person voting, and to, of course, vote for Trump. Do you think that people are actually eating cats and dogs in Ohio? Do I think that? Yes, I do, because enough people have come forward with enough anecdotal evidence, you just can't ignore it. What's your take on January 6th? Uh, much ado about nothing. I mean, more information has come to light that kind of points the finger in the other direction. Um, it turns out there's a lot of things that really didn't go on. Uh, it turns out there's some culpability on the part of persons that could have prevented things and didn't, and so on and so forth. So I, I think at this point, it's ancient history, and, and it really there's no value in, in re rehashing it. Who are you voting for, Trump or Harris? I'm going to go for the Don. Big D, yeah. What do you think about January 6th? They say he incited it. He didn't. He said keep it peaceful. You know, I don't think I don't think I wouldn't personally like rush the Capitol, raid it, but. I don't think he incited a riot like they said he did. You Could know? you say anything nice about Biden or Harris? Yeah, I think Joe Biden's actually like a fun-loving guy. I think he's just stuck. I think they got him trapped. He just wants to go out, hit the beach, and hang out. You know, I think he'd be cool to actually chill with. Can you say anything nice about P Vice President Harris? 
She's not president. And any message to the to the voters? Vote early. Vote for Trump. Yeah, so now we see this Trump Vance uh, voter registration booth. We're going to go ask him questions. But they told us that we couldn't interview them, but luckily this random guy came along. Oh, we're from Virginia. Okay, well, Virginia's in play, too. I did. Good. You voted? You voted for Trump? I did. Why'd you vote for him? Uh, Kamala is just going to ruin the country. You are your friends. All right. So who do you guys work for? No yeah, one. Oh, you yeah, got, you're just, doing a podcast or something? Yeah, I'm just, I'm just, I'm interested about people's opinions. But I'm saying, I what are you judge. doing with the content? I just post it on YouTube. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. So. Well, you should go. You know Dave McCormick's bus is right there? Dave? Gonna, yeah, Dave McCormick's going to be the next senator in Pennsylvania. He's standing right over there. You should go over there. Oh, okay. Right over there. Yeah, sure. Yeah. We have to. I will. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so now there's Senator uh, McCormick. I guess he's going to be one of the next state senators. So we're going to go see if we can talk to him. Mike Fazio. Hey. Do it here. Yeah, we could do it right here. Nice to meet you. All right. Mike Fazio. Mike. Nice hey, to meet you. Mike, good to meet you. So uh, just your name, age, and occupation to start. Dave McCormick. I'm 59 years old. I'm the uh, Republican nominee for the U.S. Senate here in Pennsylvania. Awesome. So my first question to you is, do you support the top of the ticket, Donald Trump? I do. Yeah. I think uh, President Trump's policies are what we need to take our country in the right direction. The contrast between Kamala Harris could not be more clear. It's a radical liberal agenda that's destroying our economy, securing our security with these wide open borders, the lack of law and order, and uh, we need common sense policies and strength, and that's what he'll bring to the ticket, and that's what I'll bring to the ticket against Bob Casey, who's a career politician, uh, a guy that's been in office for 30 years, too weak and too liberal to really be in line with Pennsylvania. What are your thoughts on the majority of House Democrats voting against the SAVE Act? The SAVE Act was a bill that was put before Congress that requires individuals to provide documentary proof of U.S. citizenship in order to register to vote in federal elections, where 198 Democrats voted against passing this bill. Listen, I think it's disgraceful. You, you know, you, the, the most important responsibility you have as a citizen is to vote. It is the one blessing that each one has bestowed upon us. And we have a lot of questions about the integrity of our elections. People are losing confidence. And the single thing that could fix that is voter ID. And requiring um, uh, citizens, they, it requires uh, an ID to get on an airplane, it requires an ID to buy a gun, it requires an ID to lots of things. We need to have people, uh, that uh, citizens that have voter ID to be able to come and vote. And that's a way to give uh, confidence to our citizens. It's a way to ensure that there's not fraud in our elections. It's a basic idea, and the fact that the Democratic Party opposes it, I think, is evidence of the fact that they don't really want fair elections. What do you have to say to voters? Well, listen, this, you know, people, since I can remember, I'm 59, have been saying this is the most important election of our lifetimes. But I think this one really is the most important. That's why I'm running. We have a really stark contrast between common sense policies to fix our economy for working people, secure our borders, bring law and order, and have peace internationally because America is perceived as having strength and has strength. That's against a, a extreme radical liberal agenda that, that's destroying our, our borders, destroying our security, destroying our economy, and making the world's adversaries, the, the, the bad guys in the world, test us and challenge us. So the consequences for your generation of getting this right and getting common sense leadership back in place couldn't be bigger. And so for all of you that are listening, I hope you'll engage. I hope you'll vote. I obviously hope you'll vote for me. Um, I hope you'll study the choices. But if, even if you're not going to vote for me, I hope you'll vote because this is a moment where we all want to look back and say we, we consciously made decisions to get our country back on track. Uh, I'm running as someone who's going to bring about change, bring about leadership. Uh, I'm, I'm running against someone who's been uh, part of the status quo. I think this is a change election where we need strength and leadership, and, and that's what I hope I'll bring. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Good, Good luck in your race. Yeah, appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. thanks, guys. Thank you. Yeah, awesome. Good luck, guys. All right, so that's uh, that was a pretty good interview. Now that we were deep into the tailgate, I wanted to get a couple more answers from young voters to finish off the day. I'm so ready. What's it for? Yeah, what is this for? Can I just ask? They're not like bad questions. Can I just ask them instead? Of course. All right. Yeah, sure. All right. So, uh, are you voting for Trump or Harris? Oh my God. Um. So. <laughs> um. Oh, that's crazy. <laughs> uh, come see this. Uh, uh, so, is oh, you there... don't have to, if you don't want to tell me who you're voting for, that's fine. Can I ask you other questions? Of course. Do you think that Trump is actually taking away your rights if he becomes president as a female? Um, as, a, as a gay female, as a lesbian Asian woman in this country, 
Yes. What are your thoughts as an American citizen on January 6th? Um, I think the Americans have a right to it. I'm not saying I uh, agree with it, but I think everybody has a right to protest what they want. So, not that I agree with it, but I don't disagree with it. So, do you actually think people are eating cats and dogs in Ohio? Um, uh, you know what? No, but I know some people do. So, I like, I have no, like, full proof of it, but I have seen some clips of, uh, you know, people going around interviewing people in Springfield, Ohio, you know, they're saying, like, yeah, they're taking the geese down at our park, eating the dogs, eating the geese, you know. So, I wouldn't doubt it. I do hear there's a lot of immigrants there, you know, so. Do you think that people are actually eating cats and dogs in Ohio? Yes, there's video of it. Can you say anything good about uh, Vice President Harris? Um, I don't think so. I've, I've kept up with a lot of politics, and I, I just don't think I really have anything good to say. I don't think she's a bad human. I just don't think she's a good political leader. Yeah, we're getting an overwhelming number amount of Trumps right now. It just started raining, and we interviewed a ton of people, and it seemed to be leaning like we got a lot more people voting for Trump than Harris, but you never know. It's a very small amount of people that we interviewed compared to the whole state, and everybody agrees you should go out and vote in November.